Our company is building SAP add-on for real estate flexible management, which helps not only to manage corporate property more efficiently, but also helps to manage facility services. The example of services provided are meeting room reservations, reporting of incidents, catering requests, management of visitors, inventory, and some others. Uh, the mobile app I'm going to present today is meant to use inside hospitals, universities, or big corporate offices for quick room reservations within company premises. With this app, we are planning to reach every employee in the company who does from time to time room reservations or is often attending different meetings. Uh, the presented app is running inside web container and is working on all modern mobile devices including iPhones, iPads, Androids and Android tablets. So let's start with our uh, presentation. We basically uh, like starting from the main screen. On the start screen user sees main actions in top left corner doubled as well on the main screen. What is useful if you run this app from the cell phone. So then the left column will be hidden and you will see only central panel. Underneath there are a list of meetings, room reservations uh, that shall still happen today. In our case it is morning, so I see all my meetings that shall happen during the day. I can tap on each of them and look where it will take place at what time exactly. So I, for example, I can check that room and okay, see this is my meeting reservations and if I want to go there, so I had to probably I will go from the stairs and then I had to go to the left along the corridor to get there. Of course I can look the same way on the other reservations that I have or check more during the day what else is available so like what else reservations I have. Also I can have overview of all my reservations that will happen in the next two weeks. See again the all reservations that should happen next two weeks. So I can also same way tap on some of the reservation to see where it shall take place. Sometimes buildings are really big or uh, you have to get better overview so you, have, you can rotate your iPad. I had to do it with my hands because just rotating it on table never works. So we can have like a bigger view of the, your yeah, building where you go and the reservation. So you also can get some information about rooms around. Or look when the your reservation taking or uh, taking place, or look how to get there. So again, that's the stairs, and probably I will go to through that corridor, and through that door I will enter the meeting room. So um, I can back. I will start with available now action. That's basically the case when you would like to have a meeting right now, and you're just looking what is available in around. So that system automatically picks for you your current location, your floor, where you are based on the your user records and your office address and shows which meeting rooms are in around. So you can probably pick some of the meeting rooms you like. You can review shortly the information about room and see that its availability. And if you like this you just book it. It reconfirms the time when you like to have it. It sets the current time plus one hour. And if you are happy with it, you just book the meeting room and it says, okay, this meeting room is now reserved for the me. Also, uh, the similar is uh, obviously the simple reservation, like when you already start with a new reservation and you just, yeah, you can choose some other, another building, for example. You can choose the date when it should take place. So well, I have Ukrainian uh, localization, so believe me that it means 9th of October. I basically have no chances and then I can say, okay, I need it from till 12, from 11, and I can look what the rooms are available on that date. Okay, I'm lucky there is enough rooms available, so again, let's find, try to find some nice room. Yeah, that's Amsterdam looks nice. So I gonna book it. I'm gonna return to the flat mode because it would be more easier for us to work. Yeah, place it nicely. Okay, we have um, uh, the fourth option. Uh, the action is a picture and reserve. 
which basically has concept that a uh, user will just take a picture of the label of the, on the room and based on this information system will reserve uh, this room for him so it's uh, another variation of available now but would require uh, basically only one click from user to reserve a room for a meeting or just block room in case he is entering it uh, that's so far it for this application thank you for your attendance